Hello friends, welcome to Vision JRF Net YouTube channel. If you are watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel and click the bell icon. Now let us see some of the most important questions uh, which are very expected questions from uh, UGC Net paper 1. The first question is, a, a confidential file needs to, be sele needs to be deleted from a workstation, which is the most effective way to ensure this? The first question is, a confidential file needs to be deleted from a workstation, which is the most effective way to ensure this? Option sir, options 1. Rename the file to compress the file and back up to tab to copy and paste the file into the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin. 4. Drag the file into the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin. But the correct answer is option 4. Drag the file into the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin is the correct answer. Now let us see next question. Which of the following statements is are true with regard to websites? The question is which of the following statements are true with regards to websites? Uh, the statements are the statements are P a blog is a website that consists of posts in reverse chrono chronological order. Q. A wiki is a website that is designed to allow people to collaborate easily. Uh, option sir, choose the correct answer from the following. Option sir, P only correct. 2. Q only correct. 3. P and Q Bond are correct. 4. Neither P nor Q. But the correct answer is option 3. Option 3 is correct answer. P and Q are the are the true with regard to websites. A blog is a website that consists of force in reverse chronological order. That is also correct. And a wiki is a website that is designed to allow people to collaborate easily. That is also correct or true. Now let us see next question. In the context of email, what is spam? In the context of email, what is spam? The correct answer is option 4. Option 4 is correct answer. Uh, in the context of email, Spam is unsolicited advertising sent to a large number of recipients. Now let us see next question. A virus, uh, next question is, a virus type that is capable of shifting from one computer to another without user interaction is known as? A bi uh, the question is, a virus type that is capable of shifting from one computer to another without user interaction is known as options are worm trojan logic womb boost uh, boot sector but the correct answer is option one worm now let us see next question uh, sustainable development goals are formally known as the question is sustainable development goals are formally known as options are transforming our world 2030 agenda to sustainable living for all 2022 agenda three life of dignity for all 2022 agenda four one planet one people 
2030 agenda but the correct answer is option one transforming our world uh, 2030 agenda sustainable development goals are formally known as transforming our world 2030 agenda option one is correct answer the next question is an arc, an earthquake of a magnitude in the range of 6 to 6.9 on the Richter scale is considered an earthquake of a magnitude in the range 6 Richter scale to 6.9 Richter scale is considered option sir moderate strong major great but the correct answer is option 2 strong an earthquake of a magnitude in the range of 6 to 6.9 on the Richter scale is considered as the strong. The next question is Frequent episodes of dense smoke. Frequent episodes of dense smoke in winter season in the national capital region can be attributed to. The question is Frequent episodes of dense smoke in winter season in the national capital region can be attributed to uh, the options are stable burning biomass burning in rural households transport uh, for transboundary movement of pollutants the option sir option one one two two one two and three three 1, 3, and 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. But the correct answer is option 4. Option 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. All these are the correct about, about this statement. Stab, stable burning. This is correct. 2. Biomass burning in rural households. That is also correct. 3. Transport. That is also correct. For transboundary movement of pollutants, that is also correct. Now let us see next question. Munif uh, the question is municipal solid waste comprises of municipal waste, uh, municipal solid waste comprises of one household waste, two sanitation residue. 3. West Brom Street 4. Construction and Demolition Debris The options are Option 1, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, 3, 4 and 1, 2, 3, 4 But the correct answer is Option 4 All these are correct answers <coughs> Municipal Solid Waste comprises of Household Waste Sanitation Residue 3. West, West Brom Street 4. Construction and Demolition Debris is also correct and sure. All these 4 options are correct. The next question is As per the Indian government's target As per the Indian government's target for exploiting renewable energy resources, the percentage share of solar and wind energy and the total power generation from renewable energy sources by the year 2022 will be about. The question is, as per the Indian government's target for exploiting renewable energy sources, the percentage share of solar and wind energy in the total power generation from renewable energy resources by the year 2022 will be about. The correct answer is option 1. 91.43 percent 91.43 percent is the correct answer the next question is the next question is the mandate of the university grants commission includes the mandate of the university grants commission includes options are dispersing grants to universities and colleges Two, recognizing and monitoring technical institutions. Three, funding research centers and universities. Four, uh, managing various scholarship programs. Option zero. Option two is correct answer. One, 
3 and 4. These three options are the correct answers. Option 2 is correct answers. 1, 3, 4. Dispersing grants to universities and colleges, funding research centers in universities, for managing various scholarship programs. These are included in the mandate of the University Grants Commission. The next question is, which one of the following states is going to have India's first national rail and transportation university? Which one of the following states is going to have India's first national rail and transportation university? The options are Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Bihar and Gujarat. But the correct answer is option 4, Gujarat. Gujarat state is going to have India's first national rail and transport transportation university. Now let us see next question. The station charter is an instrument we seek to make an organization. The station charter is an instrument we seek to make an organization. Options are transparent, accountable, formal, accessible. Uh, but the correct answer is option 3. 1, 2 and 4. 1, 2 and 4. Transparent, accountable and accessible. The station charter, the station charter is an instrument which seeks to make an organization transparent, accountable and accessible. These three options are the correct answers. Transparent, accountable and accessible are the correct answers. Now let us see next question. The Chief Minister of a State is not eligible to vote in the presidential election if the Chief Minister of a State is not eligible to vote in the presidential election if option sir he see himself herself is a candidate two he see is a caretaker Chief Minister three he see has a criminal case pending against him her. For he she is a nominated member of the state legislative assembly. But the correct answer is option four. He she is a nominated member of the state legislative assembly. The Chief Minister of the State is not eligible to vote in the presidential election if he she is a nominated member of the state legislative assembly. Okay, friends. Uh, now let us see next question. If the QS World Rankings 2018, which of the following Indian University is are among the top 500 university? In the QS World Rankings 2018, which one, which one of the following Indian universities is are among the top 500 universities? The options are. The options are University of Delhi, University of Hyderabad, Banaras Hindu University, Jawaharlal Nehru in University. But the correct answer is option 1, 1 only. University of Delhi. University of Delhi is among the top 500 universities of the world, ra world rankings 2018. The next question is the next question is a researcher uses parametric tests in lieu of non parametric tests for analysis and interpretation of results. This may be described as a case of the question is a researcher uses parametric test in lieu of non-parametric test for analysis and interpretation of results this may describe as a case of the options are unethical research practice two malpractice in reporting of results three technical phase in handling data four manipulation of research results but the correct answer is option three 
technical labs in handling data. A researcher uses parametric tests in lieu of non-parametric tests for analysis and interpretation of results. This may be described as a case of technical labs in handling data. Option 3 is correct answer. The next question is the next question is which of the following provides more latitude to the researcher for creative expression? Which of the following provides more latitude to the researcher for creative expression? The correct answer is option 3. Which of the following provides more latitude to the researcher for creative expression? Options are thesis writing, writing of a re research article, 3. Presentation of a conference paper, 4. Preparing a research synopsis. But the correct answer is option 3. Presentation of a conference paper. Now let us see the next question. Which one is not correct? In the context of deductive and inductive reasoning, which one is not correct in the context of deductive and inductive reasoning? Uh, the correct answer is option 4. It's not correct in the context of deductive and inductive reasoning. Option 4 is an inductive argument cannot provide us any new information about matters of fact. That is not correct. So, uh, this op this four option is correct answer. Now let us see next question. When the purpose of the definition is to explain some established use of a term, the definition is called. The question is, when the purpose of the definition is to explain some established use of a term, the definition is called option sir stipulative lexical persuasive for theoretical but the correct answer is option two lexical when the purpose of the definition is to explain some established use of a term the definition is called lexical option two is correct answer the next question is the next question is what is the purpose underlying the use of teaching aids. What is the purpose underlying the use of teaching aids? Very important question. The question is, what is the purpose underlying the use of teaching aids? Options are to make the lesson interesting, to capture the student's attention, three, to enhance access to technological resources, Four, to optimize learning outcomes. But the correct answer is option four. To optimize learning outcomes is the correct answer. The purpose underlying the use of testing aids is to optimize learning outcomes. Option four is correct answer. So friends, this must only for today. Uh, so friends if you are watching this video please don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and click the bell icon for the next coming videos thank you friends